All right, we are the Hebrew Israelites out here once again to uh, bring out the words of the Heavenly Father and His Son in hopes uh, to wake up some of the elect through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Before I go any further, I'd like to give all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh is the Heavenly Father, that's His name, and Yahweh Shai, that's the name of His Son, who the world ignorantly knows as uh, Jesus Christ. You know, and we out here to prophesy the downfall of this uh, defiled, uh, wicked kingdom. You know, as America. And the scriptures is, is uh, known as Babylon the Great. It's known as uh, the mother of harlots, the daughter of Babylon, and, and uh, other names. You know, that's our, that's our duty to come out here and, and prophesy against this, uh, this wicked kingdom. You know? What I want you to grab, grab 2nd Edwards 15 and, uh, and 1. 2nd Edwards 15 and 1, and it reads, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Which right. I so I said we are here to, to bring out the word of the Heavenly Father and His Son, <clears throat> which is uh, this book, the Bible. You know, and it's, this Bible is the spirit of prophecy. Before you continue, just grab that. You already know what I want. Revelation. It's Revelations. 19 and 10. And it reads, And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh. Worship the Most High. For well, the testimony of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. Right, and the testimony of Yahweh his testimony is, is this whole book. The whole Bible from front to back, from Genesis through Revelation. And that testimony is the spirit of prophecy. His testimony, Salakia, his testimony is the spirit of prophecy. So really this whole book, this whole Bible is, 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 is really a prophecy base. Uh, you all right. Go ahead. This Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do the will of, of my power. Read it again. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do the will of the Most High. Come. That's <clears throat> that's that's talking about the uh, the Son of the Most High, our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai. He said, "Lo, I well, it's not Him speaking, but it's in the Spirit." Is this Psalm of David, right? That's the Hebrews. Oh, you in Hebrew? Yeah. Were they were they quoting? But it's it go back yeah, to Psalm. David, yeah. David was speaking uh, through the Spirit, but he was he was talking about Yahweh Shai. Right. All right. Huh? huh. huh? Now, I'll you know, back up some more. It's in the Psalms 110. It said, My Lord said to my Lord. No, I want that Psalm 40 and 7. Oh, you want? That's what uh, Hebrews was quoting. Yeah. No, I was saying, what you had said about uh, it was King David speaking through the Spirit. Right, he was speaking through the Spirit about King Solomon. But he's talking about uh, uh, Yahweh Shai. Psalms 40 no, Psalm 40 and 7. Okay. The Psalms 40 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Read up uh, verse 2. Okay. Two verses. Can we always bring this scripture out? But I want to read up a couple of verses. Go ahead, bro. All right. Um. Psalms 40 and 5. Many, O Lord, my power, are thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to us word. They cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are no more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offerings thou didst not desire. Hey, hey, it'd be better if you started from first. First verse is a con. Yeah, I'm okay. 
This song's 40. I, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also, brought me up also out of an horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. And he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our power. Many shall see it and feel and so trust in the Most High. Blessed is the man that maketh the Most High his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O oh my, my power, my, my, my power, O oh thy wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are to us work, they cannot be reckoned up in order unto thee. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Sacrifice and offerings thou didst not desire. Mine ears hast thou opened. Burnt offerings and sin offering hast thou not required. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. I, right, go ahead. I delight to do thy will, O my power. Yea, the law. Thy law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the congregation, in the great congregation. Lo, right, so this is David is is really speaking, uh, speaking through the spirit, because we. I don't want to get all into that because that's kind of off the topic. But basically, going into the most, I don't re uh, require sacrifice from us no more. Right. You know, it's spiritual now, and uh. You know, our Lord and Savior, he came on the scene and uh, basically was the ultimate perfect sacrifice. So uh, it's really through the Spirit that uh, how we offer up sacrifices to, uh, to the Most High, you know. But uh, the point being is that uh, the mo basically King David was speaking about uh, Yahweh Shai. Lo, I come in the volume of the book. You got something out? <coughs> I got one for you. And Salaki, I believe I said he was talking about uh, King Solomon, but he was just speaking through the spirit. King David was. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, come on. In Psalm 51, verse 17, the sacrifices of Yahweh are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O Yahweh, thou wilt not despise. It is going to show yeah. the, the sacrifices are, man. Right, because uh, they them the sacrifice won't do us no good now. The Lord already then came and uh, died uh, on the cross. Cause at one point in time, the Most High, uh, well, up until this very day, you know, the Most High. Uh, well, I say at one point in time, the Most High turned His back on us, but through Yahweh Shai, uh, we adopted back onto the Most High. So at one point in time, our sacrifices meant nothing. Talking about the different animal sacrifices, the uh, the sin offerings, drink offerings, and, and uh, so forth. They was useless, you know. Even though Jake was doing was doing that, <coughs> was doing that uh, back in the uh, in the ancient time before the Lord came on the scene. You know, they was doing it thinking they were still obtaining. Uh, basically a uh, remission of sins for their wickedness by doing them different offerings, but it, it, it meant nothing. That's why Yahweh Shai had to come, you know? You got and that's the spirit, man. I can't, the scriptures say for us not the course of the spirit, but uh, yeah, bring out your precept, brother. It's 1 Corinthians 5 and 7. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new love, as you are unleavened. For even Mashiach our Passover is sacrificed for us. That's it. Now get now. I want to go ahead and grab that precept I called for earlier. Please ask for seven and eight. eight. This is no, because uh, according to the scriptures, two thirds of our people is gonna be uh, put to death. And uh, the Most High is only dealing with an elect. So, you really fucked the two-thirds, man. 
I mean, I really don't got too much. I mean, they gonna be wicked. We gonna, we, it's our job to come out here and speak on their wickedness and tell them where they going off at. But at the end of the day, they gonna, they gonna perish. Bring that out, bro. It's um, the book of Ecclesiastes, 7 and 8. Bind not one sin upon another, for in one thou shalt not be unpunished. Right, so it's saying the most high, he gonna, <clears throat> he gonna get you uh, for each and every transgression you commit. It ain't like you just do, uh, you know, you're gonna commit one, like you say to the most high, all I did was uh, this one transgression. The most high ain't gonna pardon you for it. In some way, fashion or form, the most high gonna get you. But go ahead. He's going to judge you for that. Ninth verse, say not, Most High will look upon the multitude of, of my ablations, and, and, and when I offer to the Most High power, he will accept it. Now, like I said, uh, at one point in time, <clears throat> before your shot came, like if you go back to uh, the book of Hosea, it talk about, it talk about uh, the Most High cast off Israel, then he cast off her treacherous sister uh, Judah. Uh, right, basically that was the Most High turning his back and saying, "I'm, I'm, uh, basically I'm, I'm, I'm no more ex longer accepting your, uh, your sacrifices." You know, basically I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave you out there on your own to fend for yourself. Let the other nation devour you. Did they be on top of you? You be on the, on the bottom. You know, so. Jake was still, even though the Most High turned his back on him, Jake was still sacrificing. Jake was still bringing offerings and 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 uh for their wickedness to the Most High, but the Most High didn't didn't uh wasn't acknowledging it. Read that verse again. Um, ninth verse, Ecclesiastes seven and nine. Say not Yahweh will look upon the motive of my oblations, and will uh, when and when I offer to the Most High Power, He will accept it. Right. So that what is, if you if you uh, pay attention to what this scripture talking about, that's that's preparation for wickedness. That right. you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, uh, prepping yourself for wickedness. What I mean by that is I'm a commit. I'm a I'm a go off in the law, commit a. Uh, transgress, but I got, I got, I'm, I'm covered because I got all these different uh, sacrifices set up to uh, offer unto the Most High. Yeah, I stay right over there, brother. I know you're looking for, might be looking for a precept, but yeah, I got continue. You. The tenth verse: Be not faint-hearted. Now nah, go back, read that again, okay, brother. So ninth verse: Say not Yahweh will look upon the multitude of my oblations. And when I offer to the Most High Power, He will accept it. Now that was going on. That was going on in the ancient day. That's still going on today, but it's, it's spiritual. But now it's it's corner. It's uh basically that's what Jake do. That's why Jake, when uh when it's time to uh, get tights and, and offerings, they think the more money they put in the basket and the in the in the uh, how to looking good before men. You know, as far as putting that, like, what's that damn him? I think he was a him, like, Brother Richardson, the one that dancing in the Brother church. Franklin. Brother Franklin. On YouTube, he dancing and flipping and twerking all in the church. But he wanted the congregation to see him put that offering in the uh, in the basket. You know? And I mean, the Most High is going to uh, accept me. The point being is the only way the Most High is going to deal with you, you got to come, uh, uh, well, he got to wake you up. But it's all through uh, Yahweh Shai, you know. And uh, Nate and them, Nate and them, uh, them guys, they have you to believe that basically keeping the commandments is gonna deliver you. Then the Most High ain't, ain't, ain't dealing with ain't dealing with a <clears throat> a mind somebody in a in a mindset like that. Now, of course, thinking that you're gonna be delivered by by the Lord, and you you you, the, you don't have any understanding, you know. So uh, read it one more time, brother. Ecclesiastes seventy nine. 
say not Yahweh, will look upon the multitude of my oblations. And when I offer to the Most High Power, he will accept it. Right now, the, 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 the scripture before that, it says, bind, up, bind not up sin upon sin. Mm -hmm. Right? Con. So, <clears throat> if you, it's basically telling you that hey, I'm doing all this wickedness, but look how many uh, offerings and sacrifices I'm making unto the Most High. You know? That's, that's what Jake do. You know, Jake, Jake think they can be justified for their wickedness to the, in this very day because the same Jakes that was doing this in the ancient day, them spirits are back. They doing the same things that they were doing back then. Back then, we just had the, the law of sacrifice. Now we don't do the, do the, uh, the actual sacrifices no more. Like I, because, like I said, because the Lord, he came on the scene and uh and die for our uh, sins. The elect, first and foremost, the elect. You know? But I wanna get uh, Isaiah one and uh I think it's eleven. Yeah, why they get that? <clears throat> why you get that? You know, we just, you know, getting getting past this Christmas holiday, and you had a lot of two third Jakes. They would be out celebrating this shit. You know, that's why I went into that scripture that the the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a contrite heart. So we don't we don't get off into that them festivities, man. As being uh, you know uh, being apart from this world, that's that's pagan. You know, that's things of this world. That's what. That's what niggas in this world would do.